for today's video. It's part two on the 175 grain 30 caliber Badlands Bulldozer 2s. Uh, I loaded these up uh, similar to the last test I'd done with the 180 grain Maximus by Cutting Edge. That was too slow to get these to operate, so today's video is going to be just out of the 308, testing the lower end, and then I will go ahead and shoot that uh, a little more of a full load out of a 308 into the gel. And we should have it in the bag here. I can see the aluminum tip here. Where that looks like we have roughly seven and an eighth inch is of penetration. Where that aluminum tip's leading edge is at eight and Three quarters. We exited the side of the gel block at those back together. Almost exactly 24, and that should be caught in my bag there. That opened, but way too late. Definitely too slow for these bullets. That one impacted the gel at approximately 1,750 feet per second. So we'll bump it up just a little bit here and see if we can get a little better performance see where we need to be on the bottom end with these A little further to this side but we definitely had more open a little more going on there I got an air reading on the chronograph so I'm gonna have to try to reset that chronograph see if it'll read this next one see what went on here that one impacted at roughly 2189 the one I got an air reading on was two grains less of powder the powder I'm using probably impacted barely over 2000 based off of what I'm seeing I'm gonna say 
you want your impact velocities at a minimum of 2,000 feet per second to make sure they open. That one started to open good at about a seven and a quarter inches carrying its good portion of its permanent wound cavity. Two. Almost 20 inches where we have a little bit of fragments from a pedal and then it veered down and out the side of my block right here which I'm thinking those pedals are just peeling back uneven causing that uh, veering after they've penetrated over 15 inches so you're definitely going to get over 30 inches of good penetration with good decent permanent wound cavity that larger portion of that permanent wound cavity is call that three and seven eighths that's a bullet I wouldn't hesitate to use hunting but I would uh, definitely make sure my impact velocities are above 2,000 feet per second I'm gonna go ahead and flip these and hit it with uh, more of a standard load out of a 308 for these starting to open up at one and three quarter inches carrying the better portion of that permanent wound cavity from the two and an eighth to it's still carrying permanent wound cavity out to 21 and seven eighths but that better portion kind of stops just shy of the 20 inch mark does look like it came down hit my table so that probably would have penetrated through uh, both blocks didn't come down and hit that rubber mat with that leading edge at 29 and a half that better portion of that permanent wound cavity Yeah, we're still sitting at the largest portion of what appears to be just that one three and an eighth but it carried a long distance. Overall, you know, not a bad performing bullet. Uh, if you're looking at uh, reduced loads for youth or petite people, um, this is a bullet I probably wouldn't use because it's gonna require pretty significant uh, high velocities to really make sure it opens. But from that 2,000 feet to almost unlimited these are probably a really good bullet because even hitting the gel at uh, 30 just over 3200 feet per second with the PRC the wound channels looked great without being overly destructive so for the average everyday hunter phenomenal bullet if you're looking at reduced loads or long-range shooting I 
like I'd stay away from them. That one impacted at 2,400 feet per second. So say something out of an OT6 at 2,900 feet per second is going to give you, you know, over 400 yards in range for uh, ethical stopping power. Definitely not a bad performing bullet. Uh, I wouldn't hesitate to use them. Would just make sure your muzzle velocities are above 2,000 feet per second. Um, I had a couple guys tell me these were rated down to like 8, 1,700 to 1,800 feet per second by Badlands. They are probably shooting them in the water, and water doesn't compress, so at high velocity, you do get a bullet to start open a little bit more than you do in gelatin or live tissue. Uh, so anytime you see a manufacturer's rating, it's probably been tested in water. Just add at least 100 feet per second to it and you should be fine. Uh, hope you guys enjoy the video.